All right, guys. Here she is. The inner max is done. Nine long, painful months. Standing right here in front of me. <clears throat> what we initially thought was going to be three months turned out to be three times as long. With a budget probably four times than what we planned. But yeah, this is uh, this is the product. This boat is 100% custom. I don't think there's anything like it. This is a Interceptor 186 cabin. I'm not exactly sure what year model it is. Well, you can call it 20, 2018 because that's when it was redone. But these usually range from mid 80s to mid 90s. So yeah, this is the walk around. I thought I'd just give you guys a breakdown of just most of the things that we did, starting with the trailer. So we put the uh, we put an extension on this sort of like an elbow brake so this part right here swings either that way or this way depending on which one of these two pins you remove it gives you that extra space uh, to, uh, to store it and also it gives you loads of space to move around between the trailer um, sorry between the the car and the trailer also in terms of trailering it, it makes it somewhat easier because your trailer is not that responsive so you, um, your inputs are, are much bigger to get a response out of the trailer. So what we did here is we put, um, there's a lot of EVA foam or sea deck as, uh, as known better on this boat. Put this on the trailer here. We did a custom rowing bit on it as well. We put a swing ladder which basically mounts in the old jockey wheel mount and this ladder swings around. So if you loosen that up you can actually swing the ladder around. Uh, the main purpose behind this ladder was just for boarding and um, washing. So if you want to spray the boat down, it makes it easier just to get on the ladder, spray the top, if you want to get off the boat from the nose. We went with the Fulton F2, I think this is the, uh, it's a 1600 pound. It's just a single speed, it's super smooth. Uh, it winds really well, very, very happy with it. Together with that, we went with the Fulton, uh, sorry, Fulton F2 1500 pound jockey wheel. It's got handle storage, also very nice. I went with this one instead of the bigger one because this one has the grease points, so making maintenance easier. We have these clearance lights all along the trailer. So those basically run with the turn signal or the indicator. And also when the park lights are switched on, these are stationary and then as soon as the turn signal or indicator is um, is pressed they flicker also this switch right here there's three LED red down lights on both sides of the trailer uh, just to provide a light at night that's not going to blind you and then there's a blue light in the front so it basically illuminates the whole side of the trailer this side and that side then we got these protective mesh screens, both of them join over there and um, got some paracord just holding them there and then they have two brackets in here, one there and one there, hold them in place. We did respray this boat so we don't want anything flying around hitting it. The mags, I believe they're 15s, just some standard A-line ones. Uh, another clearance light, this is the furthest aft one. We got the turn signal and reverse lights. So these are, I think they're 40 LEDs. So they give quite a bit of light at the back. And then we got the stainless boat buckles. Probably one of the best things about this trailer. Definitely these. So they're connected now, they're quite tight. Press the release switch and off they come. And they stay on the trailer. You wanna put them back, hook them in there two clicks and you're done it's very useful we resurfaced um, uh, the bunks there those are rusted to crap and then we did all the various decals I've got the name sticker there mercury sticker all the registration stickers as well so if you we move on to the boat from the front we did the Eva foam and it runs all along the sides and obviously in the front. 
So the ones here and the next joint and I believe the next one as well. The standard on this boat with the non-skid is that these are all joined and the sheets do not allow such a long length uh, to be cut. So what we had to do is, is we had to sand these through to get to the bare gel coat again, finish it off and then template everything. The grain on this, as you can see, lies pretty much straight and it runs straight even in the corners. So all the corners are specifically cut to run with the grain from back to front. Another unique little thing we did was nav lights. Those are them right there. Those are six mil uh, acrylic uh, lights. And trust me, they are bright. If you stand in front of the boat, you'll see both sides, both lights. Believe it or not. Foam runs all the way to the back. And then not sure if you can see this in picture. Yeah, you can. There's the name. In a max before the rebuild I already had the name and I just kept it we went with a 200 micron holographic flake on this holographic flake is basically like a rainbow glitter so if the Sun catches it right it's not too much it's not too little it's just right we did a bootstrap as well all of this is painted by the way uh, we did a bootstrap as well runs from the front to the back same holographic flake in there as well we also recasted the swim platforms based on the previous ones. We molded them, refabricated them. I don't know if you can see that in the picture, but that's what the flake looks like. And we went with the matching bootstrap on that as well, along with a white rubber trimming. So yeah, this color is called sea foam green. It's not entirely green. It's not entirely blue. It's more like an old, old type color. The coastal night lights. These are blue LEDs, uh, these are the down lights, also very, very uh, bright and they look amazing at night. So this boat is powered by a Mercury Pro XS 154 stroke. I got this one brand new. Uh, it's, a, it's running a 14 and a half diameter prop and it's got a 17 pitch on it. Uh, this is definitely not the fastest boat, but low end torque is unreal and it's very responsive on the plane as well. The Bimini top is something quite unique as well. There's no ropes on it. We have a mounting pole between the two uh, back braces and the front one mounts to that little uh, housing there. So it stretches the whole thing open and there's no ropes. And this is the, the triple Scotty mount. I just use that for rod storage. We also had these wooden rails redone. Um, from the previous or standard ones, we had the spacing increased. We had the broadness increased. We also had the base um, made bigger as well. These were all custom fabricated. I opted to go for the wood just to go for that look instead of the stainless steel. The tidal hook. Uh, LED spreader lights. This one's a meter length This one I think is 40 centimeters and they are super bright And they do a radius all around the boat Lots of of teak or foam around we covered pretty much everything and it will usually be covered by carpet We did the teak over here. We have a dual USB uh, Fast charger. This is also made uh, also a tidal hook product and it's got a voltmeter right there in the middle this is a rail blazer mount, and this I use for GoPro as well as my stern light. I like powering lights on my boat from two different sources. So this one runs off just normal batteries. Uh, we redid the windscreens and we also put a white trimming around it just for protection. And then as mentioned, the HDS Live 9, nine inch. A paracord pattern around the steering wheel. This is actually called Nabula. I think that's the color and it also matches the the hook bracelet that I have so yeah like the color these are two flex lights They're, they can go around the side there and they make a hell of a lot of light I'm running two 8 inch uh, Rockford Force Gate marine speakers and I'm running them off a 600 or 40 amp which is inside also went with the panel mount um, just looks neater it's just finished off better instead of the remote 
and I also changed the ignition. This is one I had to buy extra. The one you got with the engine did not have all of these positions and also the key. As you can see it's got the Mercury branding on the key. Dual battery switch as I run two batteries on this uh, on this rig and then the switch panel. Also very unique so I had this custom made. You press the auxiliary not that you can see it now but it actually has a backlighting on it uh, and then the name as well so if you had to put that off looks really good at night and these are not original Bokatech switches these are just round LEDs with all the various uh, functions so yeah, we went with the seafoam green non-skid on the floor and this is just a, lay a black loose carpet that I um, that I just leave on the deck also under storage hatch um, also with teak here and it's got a drain at the back this is very very useful for storage clean it up it's not in the way you can step on it you can jump on it i got a, a eva ruler there which is a meter long and we also did the teak in the in the sides here it didn't take any space it's easy to clean you can even remove this it's not stuck on as well as that side and then we went with sliding doors in the back also covered with teak, stainless steel um, knobs. And they slide open really easy. Storage there underneath. And on this side, there are the battery boxes. We've also got an LED light in there. There's an LED in there. Just light it up a bit. Okay, so as you enter the cabin, we went with uh, foam on the sides here. This is usually an area that gets knocked. So in order to protect them, put that on. We're ready at the cabin door. We have a loose piece of foam on the floor. So that's just removable, same teak, went with the lines. We went with a carbon fiber gray, and then everything else that's white is uh, marine vinyl. Uh, we redid all the carpets, and we used decorative rope to finish off all the joints. So there's literally not one joint visible. Everything's neatly done. Another flex light in here. This is the only light in the cabin. Also, it's movable. So you can place it wherever you want. It's quite bright. Makes enough light for the whole cabin. Got a 12 volt kettle. Also tidal hook product. It's got dual USB, 12 volt voltmeter. And yeah, it's got loads of under, full, uh, under panel storage. Read it the windows as well. So yeah guys, that's about it. Super happy with the rig. I'm still getting to know it. The engine has about four hours on it.
sign Something gives me hope that we'll be alright If all the girls in the world were living across the sea What a wonderful swimmer, yes you know that I would be In a world gone crazy Smile at Smiles on face